Yeah, the screen is perfectly. Okay. So yes, today I'm going to be talking about Calorie Health Rejuve SOD Medley Drink. It's going to be a, a product review. 大家好，那么本期呢，呃，我们的 Matt 总监呢将会为我们介绍我们的这个非常热呃火热的一款产品，我们的紫檀七焕火饮。Please go on. So in this presentation,、uh, we're going to look at some product considerations, some manufacturing and product certifications, as well as some future developments for the、uh, Rejuve SOD Medley Drink. 啊、uh, ，由于麦特总监呢，他本人亲自参与了这款产品的研发和生产，所以他将会非常细致的为大家介绍这个产品的三个方面：一个是产品考虑因素，一个是产品的制作过程、生产过程、产品认证，另外一个呢就是今后这个产品的发展前景。Please go on.、Uh, the first thing was product consideration.、Um, but before we started making this product, we really wanted to understand what is the goal of the product. So we set out to develop a, a product that's user friendly and that offers daily multifaceted immune system support.、Uh, so the product needed to have a delivery system that was convenient for daily on-the-go use. It needed to have scientifically validated ingredients, and it needed to be great tasting, naturally flavored, with simple, easy to read ingredients. 那么产品考虑的因素是什么呢？那么是什么是这个产品考虑的宗旨呢？首先是当在做一款产品的时候呢，产品研发的经理和部门们就会着手开发一一个呃一种客户友好型的产品，可以提供日常以及多方面的免疫系统的支持。那么有几大因素是他们要考虑的，一个呢就是日常方便日常便携使用的一个呃输送系统，就是这个东西得呃非常的好好吃，然后呢便于携带。另外呢，在它的配方呃配方方面呢要有科学认证的。成分，呃，在它的口感方面呢，要口感极佳，并且使用的是纯天然的风味，没有人工香精和添加色素，并且呢，它的成分对于普通的客人来说要非常的简单易读。Please go on. Okay. So in addition,、uh, another product consideration is the delivery system. So most delivery systems, be it a capsule, tablet, or powder. Uh, they're not always easy or convenient, and they require, at the very least, access to water. So we wanted to do the single-serving liquid pouch because it offers some unique advantage in that they are travel-friendly, easy to use. All you do is, you know, tear off the top and drink. So、um, in addition to that, the pouch itself is made of a, a multi-layer film that is hermetically sealed, and it ensures the best possible protection for the product prior to using. 啊、uh, ，那么首先呢，我们这个产品考虑的因素呢，这个词叫做 delivery system。那么在英语里面呢 ，the deliver 它是一个快递邮寄的意思。但是在用用于药业或者是我们保健品行业呢 ，deliver 通常是你服用的这个方式。你服用的方式呢，就是客人服用的方式呢，大部分服用方式会分为胶囊、片剂、粉末。啊、uh, ，那么这三种服用方式呢，有的时候不是很方便，至少对于大家来说呢，这些胶囊片剂的服用它都伴随着水，需要水水吞服。啊、uh, ，那么我们的 Melody Drink Medley Drink 呢，它是单份液体袋装，具有一个非常独特的优势，便于携带，易于使用，只需要轻轻撕开，在底部饮用即可。那么小袋装呢，本身是由多层的薄膜制成的，它的密封性非常的佳，可以对这个产品内部的产品实现最佳的保护。Please go. Okay, so in addition to the packaging considerations, we also needed to take a, a good look at、um, some various ingredients. So the ingredient selection process. So when we were reviewing ingredients to use in this particular formula,、uh, we tested the ingredients against four main criteria. So the product、uh, must have, or I'm sorry, the ingredient rather must have robust scientific research indicating immune system support. It must be safe and effective for daily use. It needs to have good solubility and stability, and it also needs to have an acceptable flavor profile. 那么产品考虑因素里面一个核心的也是非常重要的一个部分就是成分的选择，成分的选择必须真实可靠，有科学依据啊，并且呢是完全百分之百的呈现给所有的客人看的。那么我们成分测试的这个标准，也就是我们成分选择的这个标准呢，有以下几点：首先，它必须拥有强有力的科学研究表明它对这个产品是有免疫系统的支持的啊。那么它在日常服用，在这个 daily volume 就是日常服用量的这个基础之下呢，它是必须安全有效的啊。同时呢，它必须有
良好的溶解性和稳定性，并且呢，对所有的客人来说，它有一个非常好的风味啊、呃，大家都会喜欢吃。Please go. Okay. So one of the first、uh, kind of cornerstone ingredients in this formula is SOD.、Uh, we had a brief presentation about SOD in the beginning of this、um, call, but SOD is、uh, superoxide dismutase. So it does a couple of pretty awesome things in the body.、Uh, it's the body's first line of defense、um, from reducing free radicals, fighting against oxidative stress, and may lower potential of cell mutation.、Uh, SOD can also be used、um, to inhibit harmful inflammatory reactions,、um, and it also helps alleviate inflammatory reactions. Uh, SOD can also reduce superoxide in the brain hippocampus, thereby enhancing memory and slowing down brain aging. 那么在紫檀奇幻火影 Medley Drink 这款产品当中呢，有一位非常重要的原料就是 SOD 超氧化物歧化酶。SOD 呢是大家的老朋友了。众所周知，它是人体的第一道防线，可以减少自由基，对抗对抗氧化应激反应，并且可能降低细胞突变的可能性。那么 SOD 最主要的作用呢是呃对这个。有害的炎症反应进行一个抑制的作用，它不仅有助于减少慢性炎症对身体造成的损害，还有助于缓解身体当中已经发生的炎症反应。研究表明 ，SOD 还可以减少大脑海马体中的超氧化物，从而增强记忆力，延缓大脑的衰老。Please go. On. Okay, so the next ingredient we highlight in this formula is terastilbene. So terastilbene is considered the second generation resveratrol. Uh, due to its superior bioavailability, experiments have shown that terastilbene could significantly increase the expression of SOD and provide a more potent antioxidant, antioxidant property compared with resveratrol.、Uh, terastilbene is more effective in regulating oxidative stress and inflammation than resveratrol.、Uh, this picture here to the right shows the chemical structure of both resveratrol and terastilbene. Um, only difference being, terastilbene has those methylated groups on the end, allowing for better bioavailability. 那么接下来介绍的这个成分呢，也就是我们紫檀奇幻火影的核心成分紫檀奇。那么之前呢，朱迪博士在上周的上上周的时候也为大家介绍过这款呃原料成分。那么紫檀奇呢，由于其非常显著的生物利用度啊，被称之为是第二代的白藜芦醇，也就是改进版的白藜芦醇。那么实验表明呢，与旧一版的白藜芦醇相比呢，紫檀奇可以增加显著增加 SOD 的表达，并提供更有效的抗氧化性能。也就是说，我们紫檀奇幻火影当中呢，含有紫檀奇和 SOD 两。者相得益彰，相辅相成，作用加倍。那么紫檀奇在调节氧化应激和炎症方面相比呢？实验证明得出的数据证明比白藜芦醇更加的有效。Please go. Our next ingredient to highlight is our beta one three one six glucan. So what that is, it's a soluble fiber that's derived from yeast. So not all glucans are created equally.、Um, this particular one, one three one six glucan,、uh, is a rare glucan that can actually regulate、uh, your immunity effectively.、Uh, it does this. It can do it by help lowering the potential of inflammation in your body and optimize immune response to promote overall health on a cellular level. 那么接下来为大家介绍的呢是一种葡聚糖，它的构型是贝塔构型，然后在一三一六的结构上呢，呃，拥有拥有基团。那么并非呃，葡聚糖呢是一种来自酵母的可溶性纤维，并不是所有的葡聚糖都能调节人体的免疫系统，因为呃，葡聚糖它们还有各种化学结构。那么这种特殊的贝塔一三一六构型的葡聚糖呢是一种罕见的葡聚糖，但研究表明呢它可以调节免疫系统，那么降低体内的炎症，并且有可能优化免疫反应，促进。细胞水平的整体健康。Please go on. One of my favorite ingredients in this formula is the astereal astaxanthin.、Uh, so astaxanthin is a high purity form of algae, which is sourced from Haematococcus pulverius,、uh, and it、uh, helps reduce the expression of cell inflammatory response factors. And the reactive nitrogen substances included are induced by ultraviolet rays. Additionally, it can be also it can also improve some skin inflammatory reaction. So this、um, infograph on the right indicates how much stronger 
of an antioxidant, it is then some of the most common antioxidant. 那么接下来这位原料呢，其实是我们啊 Matt 总监最喜欢的一位原料，因为他在这个行业里面很多年，他本人最喜欢的一款原料呢，其实是虾青素。那么我们使用的虾青素呢，是一种来自雨生红球藻的高纯度藻类，啊，从这个高纯度的藻类里面提取出来的虾青素。虾青素本身呢，有助于降低细胞的炎症反应，啊，和紫外线诱导的活性氮物质的表达。那么此外呢，它虾青素本身还可以改善一些皮肤炎症。嗯、呃，那么看到右图，我们可以看到虾青素本身的这个抗氧化活性啊。呃，是平常普通呃番茄的，呃，它的这个维生素 C 的含量呢是普通番茄的呃六千倍，呃，然后的它的这个抗氧化性能呢是普通的这些呃白兰花的八百倍，然后的话它是普通榛榛果的这个一百一十倍的抗氧化特性。Please go on. Vitamin D. So, an estimated one billion people in the world have a vitamin D deficiency or inefficiency. The prevalence of vitamin D deficiency among adult population was reported to be 14 to 59 percent, with a higher prevalence in Asian countries. So, vitamin D works by supporting the immune system and the body's inflammatory response. It is also involved in signaling to help control innate and adaptive parts of the immune system. Uh, our specific form of colchicerol or vitamin D3 is sourced from a natural、uh, lichen. 那么，呃，紫檀烯焕纹饮当中呢，还有另外一位原料，就是维他命 D 三，呃，胆钙化醇。呃，据据统计呢，世界上目前有十亿人维生素 D 缺乏或不足。据报道呢，成年人口当中的维生素 D 缺乏的患病率高达百分之四十。百分之十四到百分之五十九，亚洲国家的患病率呢更加的高。维生素 D 呢能够支持免疫系统和身体的炎症反应，啊、呃，它参与信号传导，帮助调控免疫系统的先天和适应性部分。利用来自第一的天然胆钙化醇呢，能够帮助人们调节，更好的去调节身体的一个免疫系统。Please go on. Okay, and the last ingredient we're going to highlight is Opti Zinc. So that is a form of zinc that is,、uh, it's a mineral chelate that pairs zinc with the amino acid methocyanine.、Uh, and so we do this because、uh, zinc methocyanine is better absorbed and retained longer in tissue than other、um, sources of、um, zinc.、Um, and in the body, zinc is utilized in cell metabolism.、Uh, It is essential for enzymes needed to repair cell membranes, cell proliferation, growth, wound healing, and immune system function.、Uh, this table here to the right shows the plasma levels after two hours post-ingestion of various forms of zinc. As you can see, the L-opti zinc has a higher、uh, plasma level at the two-hour、um, mark than the other two forms do. 最后一个需要专门拿出来说的一个原料呢，本身是呃是一个非常嗯是一个非常新鲜的一种原料，它叫新左旋蛋氨酸，它本身是一种。螯合物就是呃，意思就是说把锌的这个锌和我们的这个氨基酸 L 蛋氨酸配对。那么我们都知道，呃，就完整的这个有四级蛋白结构的这个蛋白质，它的中心是有一个金属结构的啊、呃。那么本这个左旋的蛋氨酸，它的它的中心的络合结构呢，络合元素呢就是我们的锌。那么这个蛋白质它最主要的功能呢，其实是帮助我们人体去吸收锌。那么实验证明，我们可以看到右边的这个框图里面哈，这种锌左旋的蛋氨酸对锌的这个吸收啊，组织对这种锌的吸收呢，时间更长，效率更高。那么在体内呢，我们的锌就是非常重要的一种元素，它用于细胞的代谢，对于细胞修复自身的伤口、修复细胞膜、细胞的增殖以及生长，还有伤口的愈合、免疫系统的调节，都有至关重要的作用。所以呢，这个新的左旋蛋氨酸这种螯合物呢，是一种非常新颖的补充锌的最佳的方，呃，更新奇、更创新的方式。Please go on. Okay, so these are just a, a few additional immune boosting ingredients that we decided to include、uh, in the formula. I'm not going to cover these in great detail,、um, but we added elderberry,、uh, very high in antioxidants. Used in a lot of、uh, immunity-boosting formulas, we also have quercetin,、uh, which is a flavonoid that can help relieve inflammatory reactions,、uh, enhance immunity, and reduce oxidation.、Uh, and echinacea, that's one of the most popular natural herbal ingredients found in many immune、um, 
supporting formulas. Um, so that can help strengthen human immunity, promote glucose metabolism, relieve tension and anxiety, and also help to protect the skin. 那么除了以上介绍的几种亮点元素之外呢，我们还有几位成分呢是额外的增强免疫的成分，一个就是接骨木，还有一个呢是啊、呃、我们的麸皮素、水啊、呃、二水化合物，还有一个呢是紫锥紫锥菊。那么从接骨木来说，接骨木这个名称其实从中文翻译就可以看出，它是一种愈合型、愈合特性非常强的浆果，它几乎是所有植物类里边愈合性最愈合性能最好的植物。那么接骨木呢足有足够的这个维生素和抗氧化剂，对人体有众多的好处。可以包括缓解压力、抗炎、保护心血管健康和全面的免疫支持。那么我们的麸皮素二水化合物呢，是一种黄酮类的化合物，可以帮助缓解炎症反应、增强免疫力、减少嗯体内的氧化应激反应。最后一种呢是紫锥菊，这种菊类呢啊含有非常丰富的抗氧化剂，可以帮助增强人体免疫，促进葡萄糖的代谢，缓解紧张和焦虑的情绪，保护我们的皮肤健康。Please go on. So putting it all together, we compound all of those previously listed ingredients in with a blend of blueberries, cranberries, grapes, acai berries, wolfberries, cherries, pomegranates, grapefruit, aloe vera extract, and green tea extract. 啊，那么说到啊，大家经常会问，为什么这个紫檀菊喝起来这么的甜？是否有很多的糖分呢？啊，其实是不是的。啊，那么我们这个甜的口味呢，来自于非常多的含有多酚的水果混合物。那么我们的这个产品之内呢，包含了蓝莓、蔓越莓、樱桃、石榴、葡萄柚啊、巴西莓、枸杞、葡萄，呃、啊，还有芦荟以及绿茶提取物啊 ，EGCG。所以呢，它这个丰富的果味和一些甜味呢，其实是来自于这些呃、啊、水果的提取物。那么整个呃。啊，紫檀奇的这个这一袋里面呢，其实只含有呃三克的果糖。Please go on. So now we, that we've selected everything that we want to go into the formula, we need to actually manufacture the product. So to the right here is kind of a, a very、um, brief overview of the manufacturing flowchart. So all the ingredients are compounded together in a large stainless steel mixing vessel. Um, the blend has to be then pasteurized to ensure safety. It needs to be filled and sealed into the pouches. It then goes into a cooling tower to bring it back down to normal temperature, and then it is packaged in its final packaging. 那么我们的麦特总监呢，作为这个产品的研发者，呃和生产的一个参与者呢，他必须亲自到生产线上去监监呃监察我们的这个生产工艺。那么他对整个监呃生产环节呢，也是非常的了非常的了解和清楚。大家可以看到这张图，它就是一个整个紫檀器生产用的呃大呃大规模的这个机器。那么紫檀器生产这个过程呢，就是一个传统的过程，就是混合、巴氏消毒、填充和密封、冷却以及包装。那么这是流水线作业，全程无菌。Please go on. So here's、uh, some photos of our manufacturing equipment. To the left is the stainless steel mixing equipment. That's where the formula is compounded together.、Um, after it's compounded, it travels through those stainless steel pipes over to the pouching machine.、Um, it's heated and pasteurized prior to making it to the pouching machine,、uh, and then after pouch, as mentioned, it goes and travels through the cooling tunnel. To bring it back down to temperature before it makes its way to final packaging. 啊、uh, ，那么可以看到如下三图呢，就是它的一个制作过程的图片，用到的三个设备全都是无菌无人工操作，基本无人工操作的，呃，高智能的一些呃生产设备。图一呢是不锈钢混合设备，用于混合我们的原料。图二呢是制袋机，呃，就是把我们的这个小包袋呢打进去，呃，然后的话把它密封口。呃，第图三呢是我们的冷却槽，就是我们的产品其实在封口以及制作的过程当中它是热的，那么我们制作好的这个产品呢要放到冷却槽里面去进行冷却，把我们的袋子和我们的产品都冷却下来。Please go. On. Okay, and this is the finished product, the Calorie Health Review SOD Medley Drink.、Uh, here's a look at a,、uh, a finished pouch, and to the right we have our supplement back panel, which shows all of the ingredients that we've mentioned in this presentation. 
啊、嗯。那么这个产品呢，就是我们可以看到，我们把这个产品的盒子翻过来的这一侧呢，其实会会看到我们的 supplement fact， 就是其实我们一直都呃提倡所有的消费者要学会去看这个呃我们的 supplement fact， 或者是有的时候会叫 nutrition fact， 上面会把所有这个产品所包含的所有物质都呃写在里面。那么这个时候我们看到我们的果糖其实总共袋装出来呢，我们研究出来也就只含三克的糖，它是远远低于。正常人需要的呃糖类摄入量的每日的摄入量，呃，所以是完全对呃糖尿病患者也是可以安全服用的。Please go on. Okay, so here's some of the product certifications.、Uh, this particular product, it is free of gluten. It is halal. It is made in a CGMP facility.、Uh, it's vegan, non-GMO, and made in the United States. 啊，那么说到本款产品呢，同样它也是传承了四亿非常优良的传统，一定要得到非常多的认证，得到很多权威机构的认可。那么这款产品呢，不含麸质，符合伊斯兰教的法律，呃，获得了 CGMP 的这个机构生产机构的认证，而且是素食、非转基因，并且是由美国本地制造的。Please go on. Okay, so continued development of the product.、Uh, generation two of the reviewed SOD medley drink. Is already in the final stages of development,、um, with an expected launch of early 2022.、Uh, this this new and improved product will have an improved ingredient profile with some additional cognitive support.、Um, it will also have an improved flavor profile, which is a little bit less sweet than the current,、um, for a more enjoyable experience that will not overwhelm the senses. 啊，那么目前呢，我们的紫檀奇第二代正在处于一个最后的研发和开发阶段，预计将零呃将于二零二二年年初推出我们的第二代紫檀奇幻火影。啊，那么我们的第二代呢，将会有更多的特性。首先呢，最重要的一点就是对我们大脑的这个认知功能有非常大的改善和提升。那么这一款原料的提升呢，这个功能的提升也是很多消费者呃非常喜欢的一个，因为大部分消费者对我们的脑力健这款产品有非常好的回馈，认为它对大脑这个影响非常的重要。那么再来就是呢，我们会改善。这个口味口味特征，呃，根据消费消费者的反馈呢，我们会适当的减少这个甜味，但是呢，同时也会保证呃客人们在服用的过程当中有愉悦的享受，不会过分的影响我们的感官体验。Thank you. Okay, that's the end. Thank you so much. 好的，谢谢我们呃 Matt 总监对我们带来的一个整个生产过程和研发过程的介绍。呃，接下来呢，让我们有请我们的穆罕默德博士。那么穆罕默德博士呢，呃，是四亿的。呃，是四亿的有机合成化学博士，他也是同时也是四亿的配方和剂型专家啊、呃，并且是 FDA 法规合规专家啊、呃。那么本期呢，呃，将由由我们的穆罕默德博士为我们介绍封装的另有另外一个过程。Let's welcome to the Doctor Mohammed. Uh, welcome, everybody.、Uh, I am going to continue my discussion on encapsulation process, and today specifically, I'll talk about selection of capsule type and size. 啊、uh, ，大家好，这是我们的穆罕默德博士，也是我们的这个老朋友了。他本期将会为大家介绍封装工艺啊。Uh, 胶囊的类型还有尺寸的选择。那么本期呢，呃，也是很多观众朋友们非常想要知道的，因为很多观众对我们这个胶囊的选择，它是否是素食，它的这个产品的呃原料是胶囊这个外壳的生产的原料是什么，也非常的感兴趣。所以本期呢，啊、呃，大家将会从这方面得到相关的信息和知识。Please go on. Uh, let's recap from the previous presentation. What we talked about that okay, capsules. Are to be inspected to remove defective capsules. Capsules are packaged and labeled properly prior to distribution. Quality checks are maintained at every stage of the production. The finished product is thoroughly analyzed for potency and contaminants prior to release for distribution. 啊，那么在课程开始之前呢，带大家回顾一下前几期我们讲过的啊，就是我们对这个胶囊的检查。首先是要检查并去除有缺陷的胶囊，在分发之前呢，被正确的包装和贴标。在生产的每个阶段呢，都会进行质量的检查。在分发前呢，对成品的效力和污染物进行彻底的分析。Please go on. Uh, 
let's discuss about types of capsules. Capsules are available on the market are either gelatin or vegetarian. Gelatin is also known as gel capsules are composed of gelatin manufactured from the collagen of animal skin or bone. Vegetarian, also known as vegetable or cellulose or veggie, capsules are typically made of vegetable cellulose. There are several different types of vegetable cellulose that make up vegetable capsules. HPMC, which is called hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose or hypromellose capsule. This type of capsules, uh, this type of cellulose comes from soft to trees such as spruce, pine, and fir trees. There is another type of you know, pollen capsules is made from extract of tapioca roots. The main difference is that pollen capsule is 70 to 100 percent more expensive than HPMC capsules. HPMC can only obtain vegetarian certification, while pullulan can obtain vegetarian certification and also organic certification. 三种在这边呢第一种就是明胶明胶胶囊那么也称为凝胶它这个胶囊的外壳就是通常呃最普遍用的一种就是用动物的皮肤或者是骨骼里面的胶原蛋白制成的明胶制成的胶囊另外一种
normally contain an equilibrium moisture content to be 13 to 16 percent. This moisture is critical to the physical properties of the cells since at lower moisture contents, cells become too brittle and may crack when exposed to the appropriate stress. 那么在制作这个名叫的过程当中呢成品的硬名叫呢通常还有百分之十三到十六的平衡水的含量这种水分呢呃对我们的这种壳状也就是我们的这种呃胶囊状的物理特性特别的重要如果你的胶囊在制作
and gelatin capsules are also ideal for powdered formulation as liquid based formulation are not compatible with the gelatin capsule and should be taken into consideration when choosing the capsule type to use 啊，那么首先我们介绍完了三种胶囊之后呢，我们来介绍一下，呃，回到我们明胶身上呢，我们看看明胶本身的优缺点。呃，那么明胶呢是胶囊胶囊当中最常用的材料，因为它不仅实惠，并且呢它的工艺已经发发展了很多年了，所以它提供了很多不同的颜色、大小，甚至是口味，所以这也对儿童非常的好。那么很多儿童他都是用这种明胶，就是因为它的颜色比较鲜艳，啊、呃，孩子看起来更易于去吞服。那么明胶是由动物的副产品，特别是胶原蛋白制成的，胶原蛋白是动物的结缔组。之产生的，那么对于严格的素食主义者，或者是不喜欢吃动物类产品的，又或者是因为呃宗教饮食限制的这些呃客人呢，他们是无法服用明胶类的产品，明胶类的这个产品的。那么同时呢，明胶它也是粉末制剂的这个粉末状的这种呃泡呃呃呃粉末制剂的理想选择者呃，但是明胶也有一个缺点，它和液体是不相容的，因为这个液体放在里面的这个明胶就会化掉呃，所以呢，在使用胶囊的时候呢，应该根据这个明胶的是根根据我们这个适用。液体还是呃粉状呢？呃，去考虑我们这个胶囊的使用和选择。Please go on. Uh, for vegetarian capsule, uh, one of the advantages is that you know they are not made from of animal byproducts. Okay, this distinct characteristic allows them to be suitable for individuals who choose not to consume products sourced from animals. Uh, vegetarian capsule, in addition. To being both the obvious choice for both vegetarian and vegan consumers are also more acceptable for religious regions as well. Uh, these capsules are available in various colors and sizes and are more flexible in their application. Cellulose is the preferred capsule base for substances that have more of a semi-solid or gel composition. Vegetarian capsules have no non-potential health risks even when taken for prolonged period as they are 100% natural and non-toxic. 那么接下来就讲到我们素食胶囊的一个优缺点。那么首先，服用素食胶囊的优点是非常显而易见的，它是不由动物副产品产生的。它独特的特性呢，使得它适合那些选择不使用素，呃，就是 vegan 的呃人们来服用，就是严格的素食主义者啊、呃、来服用这个胶囊。那么素食胶囊呢，不仅是素食者和纯素食者的明显选择，它也是出于宗教原因啊、呃，在这个宗教原因上呢，更加容易被接受的一种胶囊。事实上呢，素食胶囊通常被认为同时归类为犹太教和清真产品，就是如果我们的胶囊选择了。这个素食的话，一般它是非常容易通过呃犹太教和清真产品的这个认证的，呃，为更多的客户打开了更多的选择。呃，那么同时呢，这个随着时代的发展，我们这个素食胶囊的颜色尺寸也有更多的选择。但是大家可以看到图片里面，呃，素食胶囊的这个颜色它不会非常的鲜艳，还是偏棕色调的。呃，那么对于更多的半凝固、半固体或者凝胶状的组合物质呢，我们这种纤维素是非常优选的一个胶囊，它可以和我们那种凝胶状的内含内含物结合到一起。那么素食胶胶囊呢，即使是长期服用，也没有潜在的风险，它是百分之百天然无毒害的。所以素食呃服用素食胶囊呢，啊，它的优点性也非常的大。Please go on. Ah,、uh, here I just summarize, you know, the what we talked about advantage and disadvantage. Stability for gelatin capsule it is lower stability, and it has higher vegetarian capsule has higher stability. Okay. And you know, pill composition means you know the gelatin capsule only can for powder materials, but vegetarian capsule also for liquid and powder. Okay, and degradation by light, it is possible it can degrade in the gelatin capsule. It is not for vegetarian. Okay, degradation by heat, approximately above 60 degrees Celsius in this vegetarian, over 80 degrees Celsius, and risk of TSC. You know. Bovine type, you know, may require you know TSC certification to ensure safety, and it is absent for vegetarian capsule. Please go ahead. <laughs> 
。那么这个时候呢，我们的博士为我们把这个明胶和素食胶囊做了一个对比。那么中间这一栏呢是它要测评的项目，一个是胶囊的稳定性，对填充物的容忍度，可否光降解、热降解，还有它的透氧性，以及它这个传染海绵性呃呃海绵状脑病的这个风险啊。那么从素食胶囊主义呃素食胶囊这边我们左边来看，那么素食胶囊呢，由于有较低的水含物呢，所以它的稳定性更高。那么素食胶囊呢，由于对多种填充材料呢都有非常高的一个呃融合性啊、呃、和一个容忍性，包括含有醛基的一些填充物料，因为醛基它会把那个明胶胶囊。呃，就是溶掉，就是软掉。然后的话，但是素食胶囊呢，它不能光降解，呃，所以呢，素食胶囊一般来说，它这个封装的瓶子就要是深色的，把这个放光挡掉。呃，但是呢，它也，呃，它能够热降解，呃，然后高于八十摄氏度的时候呢，啊、呃，它就会降解。啊、呃，刚才上面那个我说反了，它是不能够光降解的话，所以呢，如果是素素食的这个胶囊，它的瓶子就可以透亮的。啊，那么就是还有这个它的透氧性呢更加的高，然后呢对这个海绵性呃海绵状脑病的这个传染风险呢基本为零，因为它不从牛身上去提这个海绵状病脑状病呢，它就是从牛身上得来的，所以素食胶囊不存在这样的风险。呃，那么说到我们的明胶呢，就是我们的动物副产品产生的这个凝胶呢，它由于含有较高的水分水成分呢，这个明胶的稳定性就比较。低，在极端环境下呢，它对湿度就更加的敏感，然后它对这个成填充料的这个容忍度呢，也稍微会低一点。它非常适用于干燥的粉状物料，但是不能兼容某些液体物料，特别是带有醛基的油状和凝胶状的这种填料呢，是不能放到我们这个明胶的这个胶囊里面去的。然后呢，它的它可被光降解，就是这个光照一照，有可能它就降解了。所以呢，我们一般来说用明胶的话，这个瓶子会是棕色的，就是或者是呃颜色比较呃颜色比较黑的那种瓶子。然后它热降解度呢也比较高一点，就是可能高于六十度，这个这个明胶就可能就被降解掉了啊、呃。它的透氧性呢更加的低啊、呃，它也由于它会来自于牛的一些提取物嘛，所以它对这种疾病的传染风险呢啊、呃、也需要去做测试才能够得到认证。Please go. I、uh, here you know how to choose empty capsule size. You know, I mean, so if you see over here, there are you know, two kinds. You know, like zero, double zero, triple zero. Again, numbering is one, two, three, four, five. In this case,、uh, lower the number, you know,、uh, it is, you know, more zeros is, you know, bigger the capsule is. You know, here the lower the number, you know, one is the biggest capsule, whereas the five is the smallest capsule. Okay, that is the, you know,、uh, about the capsule size. 嗯，那么这里就给大家一个小常识，就是如何选择胶囊的尺寸。其实大家都以为零是小号，其实不是，零越多这个胶囊就越大。零零零零三个零的是最大的一种胶囊，就是这种胶囊非常的，我觉得非常的难以吞吞咽吧。呃，那么就是零越少的话，我们胶囊尺寸就越小。呃，我们普通食品补充剂的时候，最常见的胶囊是二号零零这个这个号数。呃，那么如果往五号走的话，这个胶囊就极其的小，是最小的一种胶囊。Please go on. Uh, when when you choose capsule, then you have to consider the following, you know, maximum length and diameter of the capsule that can be used. Means you know, what capsule size you need, you know, intended use, how much filler in each capsule you want to put, density of your filler material, how much will the capsule hold, the size capsule designated by encapsulating equipment you may already own such as a Manual or semi-automatic capsule filler. These fillers only work with one size capsule. So be sure you are selecting the size that corresponds to equipment you may already want. The type of capsules you want means you know certain capsules such as Purulan, Interic are not available in all sizes. Determining the type of capsule you need first may narrow down your selection of sizes. 那么选择这个胶囊尺寸的时候呢，要考虑以下几点因素。首先就是你这预期的这个胶囊的填充量，如果你填充量非常多的话，你这个胶囊肯定会比较大；填充量比较小的话，你胶囊就比较小。啊，那么再来就是你这个填充料的密度，它决定了你的体积。还有呢，可能就是我们这个胶囊填充的封装设备，有的是手动的，有的是半自动的，它是指定了一个大小的胶囊。就比如说五号太小的话，可能手动的就比较，呃，五号最小的那种胶囊，它手动就比较困难，可能大部分它都是半自动的。啊，还有一个适用的填充物也是。
会考虑到的这个胶囊的尺寸啊、呃，因此在选择胶囊尺寸的时候，还要和对应的设备相对应啊、呃。还有呢，就是我们这个胶囊的功能呃和特性，普鲁兰胶囊、长绒胶囊是并不是所有尺寸都有的，普鲁兰胶囊也是更贵一点，长绒胶囊也是一种新型的胶囊。那么这种胶囊可能它就没有极小的五号装和最大的零零号装啊、呃，那么就是它的功能也决定了你选择这个胶囊尺寸的范围。Please go. Uh, how to select capsule size? You know the amount of fill material to be encapsulated, the density and compressibility of the fill. The final determination largely may be the result of trial and error. Common capsule defects include weight variation, defects of shape and bend, double cap, bend, etc. Color variation in pellets or body, foreign particles, scrap, telescoping, cracking, splitting. Improper market marking. This topic I'll uh, discuss in the next uh, presentation about this. You know, so that's all for topic today. 好的，那么最后呢，我们也为下期预告呢做一个预告啊。那么胶囊尺寸选择和常见的缺陷，那么在如何选择胶囊的时候呢，我们要考虑封装的填充的量，还有填充物的密度和可压缩性，还有最大的结果呢，最大的程度呃，最终决定的程度呢啊，最后还是要从这个实验上去来决定，就是你这个产品最后的实验上。那么我们胶囊封装的胶囊常见的缺陷包括重量变化、凹痕、双帽。啊、呃，就是帽子扣双了，然后的话弯曲的缺陷，还有就是颗粒或颜色本身的变化，有异物，有碎屑，啊、呃，这个胶囊伸缩或者开裂，或者是分裂，或者是标记不当，那么这些缺陷呢，我们下期啊、呃、有机会的还会和大家继续讲解。